When we're making JavaScript applications, we can log our results out to the console in a variety of different ways. Now, most people are familiar with console.log. This is essentially how we log something out to the console. So we could say, hello world, like that. And then if we check in our JavaScript console, we can see, hello world. Now, there are a variety of other things that we can log out to the console too. For example, we can log an error event. Console.error, this is an error. Now, when we refresh the page, we can see this is an error and it's also red. We get a stack trace to go back and see where the potential error is. So this is really good if we're writing some conditional statements and maybe we don't want to be getting to this part of the conditional and we want to display an error in the console. As well as this, we can also use console.warn. This is a warning. And this is like an error, but instead it shows a yellow tint. You can also get a stack trace to see where the warning was. Next, we have console.info. This is an info message. And you can see here that we have an I next to the message. And finally, we also have something called console.debug. This is a debug message. This acts like the console.log, but instead the text is blue. So why would you want to use console.error or warn, info or debug? Well, one of the primary reasons is that we can click this filter button here on Google Chrome and we can filter out for particular log types. So we can see all the errors. We can see the warnings, information, logs, debug, and so on. Because of this, I would advise you to start making your applications a little bit more semantic using things like errors, warnings, info in the appropriate places to make debugging that much easier. If you found this video useful, hit subscribe to stay updated and check out learnionic2.com for more awesome JavaScript content.